Okay, I'm going to show you how I run How God Makes God on Internet Archive. They have this nice little in-browser early Macintosh operating system emulator, which allows you to run these early programs that were created in uh, HyperCard or MacroMind. And so here we are at the How God Makes God uh, page. And to start, you just press this green button and you wait for the file to load. It's 80 megabytes in size. I don't know how big CD-ROMs were at the time, but uh, that would have taken a bunch of floppy drives. So it was published on a CD-ROM. The entire application uh, is silent and it's all one bit graphics and it's told as a kind of animated comic book. And uh, for the time, it was pretty cool and groundbreaking. I really liked the simple presentation and I think it stands up really well. Okay, so you can see now what we have is we see a little screen here. This is the, what the actual early Macintosh operating system looked like. It's uh, small, but it's a pixel for pixel representation. If you want to make it full screen, you can go over here and click on this thing that says full screen view over on the right. I'm not going to do that because it will cut off this screenshot, but you can do that. And I recommend that you do that. But what I really wanna show you is the best way to um, experience this with some of the controls that you can use. So the first thing we want to do is just hold down the control button on your keyboard and you'll see we have this uh, this little panel that pops up here. And so it says type H for help. So while holding control, type H, and you can see some of the options. The main thing that we want to change is the speed control. So while holding the control button, press S, and then press A for all out. That will run this as fast as possible. The old Macintoshes, were were a lot slower than new ones, obviously. And so this would run really slowly if you were not to do this and it's not as fun. So press A, have all out, and now we're operating at full speed. Double click on the folder, how God makes God. Double click on the application. It will load. And then you can click on beginning to start. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And it's told in the form of threads. There are 204 threads. It takes about 14 hours to go through the whole thing. And you'll see this little interface at the bottom. Click on that little dot. That's the best way to advance it instead of doing it automatically. And you can see every time you click, the dialog changes or it advances a slide. So you can do it that way. If you click on run, it just auto runs it. But I find that not to be as good. I'd rather have control over being able to advance to the next slide or not. So that's really it. Um, if you have any questions about it, uh, I might be able to help. You can just add your question in the comment section of the post. Okay, thanks.